I'm here with Bob Boylan, the creator of the Tiny Desk Concert, and Bobby Carter, one of the Tiny Desk Concert producers. And we're going to be talking about the Tiny Desk Contest for 2023 in its ninth year. Bob, Bobby, thank you so much. Good to be here with Hello, you. Thank you. It's been nine years of discovering and inviting <clears throat> people to be heard, to be discovered with their music creations. How does it feel for the two of you being able to accomplish this for nine years so far, allowing a lot of people to put out their work and their music creation? It's it's sort of thrilling every year because we don't know what to expect. We get uh, all the submissions from all this talent all across the country, and it's both overwhelming and really thrilling at the very same time. And then knowing that in the end, we can have an impact on people's lives is both meaningful to Bobby and I. We, we really care about this stuff. What it will be for both of you, the importance of having a lot of young emerging musicians from diverse cultural backgrounds being represented through this opportunity at the Tiny Desk Contest. What young people, young musicians are doing nowadays is, is so exciting. There's so much to say, so many new sounds and so many different ways to bring music to the masses. So to me, that's that's what I look for the most. Obviously, we're going to pick the best, what we deem is the best of the of the bunch. But it's just exciting to hear so many different sounds and from different walks of life, like you said. But it's great that this contest is opened up for all of those people um, to get in there and just give them, uh, give us what their perspective on, on what a good song is. During the experience being judges and having the opportunity of listening to so many submissions, what do you think it has been some of those most outstanding discoveries in regards of maybe musical proposals or unique sounds, inspiration on the lyrics or genres or even use of language, anything that is still today, something that you were amazed to listen to? Uh, well, we have uh, eight winners and every one of them, I would say that, that was probably true of uh, where there were draw dropping moments uh, of watching someone like uh, Galen Lee play her violin and sing in the most unusual of ways because of uh, a condition that she has, which makes it difficult for her to play the way you would hear a violin normally, or hearing someone like, you know, Fantastic Negrito uh, and his uh, band at the time, uh, just gut-wrenching right from the heart music. These are things that, you know, we'll watch an awful lot of videos and uh, and every once in a while, one of them punches you or makes a mark on your heart that, uh, yeah, it's pretty unforgettable. And it could be in the lyric. It could be in the way the presentation is. It could be in the, you know, the instrument. There are many ways that it could be impactful. Look forward to them. I mean, thinking about the impact, I mean, last year's winner, Elisa Amadou, I, I, I couldn't understand the language that she was speaking at all. And it mm -hmm. just speaks to the power of her performance because right. it just cut above everything else and I didn't I didn't know what she was singing about right. but it was it, it just cut through for some artists and musicians who are interested and motivated to do this but maybe there is a little bit of intimidation especially because knowing that this is the tiny desk concert series that they have seen for years through NPR and all of a sudden that opportunity is really enticing but at the same time I am good enough should I submit what it will be your words of encouragement for those artists who are still maybe not sure of their capacity of providing something that it will be amazing for NPR to discover and to showcase? You know, it could just think of it as a stepping stone. Like you're going to enter the contest and there are going to be five or six thousand other people. And uh, yeah, just understand that there's a pretty good chance you're not going to be the winner of the Tiny Desk Contest. But Understand also that none of the winners who won never thought they were going to be the winners of the Tiny Desk Contest either. And the fact is, it's just something to make a mark to do it. There are people who have entered almost every one of the years of the contest, and each time they get better. There's an artist that we're inviting to the Tiny Desk Concert Series this year who has entered four or so times Never won, but we are aware of that artist because of their entries to the series. Don't be intimidated by it. Just do the thing you're most proud of. Put it in. And look, if you didn't win, what have you lost? 
And these are the challenges that as a musician, if this is what you want to do for your life, it's the same as getting up on that stage. It takes a little bit of, you know, that courage to do something. And if you want to become and do these things, these are the moments of courage that you need to do it. So they're stepping stones. As judges for this 2023 candidates contest, what will be some of the criteria that artists submitting their work should be considered about and mindful of your appreciation for them to be considered and to be even more surprising for you? Well, it's pretty simple. I mean, you, you have to be 18 years of age. Uh, you have to submit a video of yourself playing an original song uh, with the desk in the video. And just out of all of the songs that you have in your repertoire, pick the very, very best one and play it and, and play it your best until it feels good. And that's that's any genre. Hopefully it's something brand new that we've never seen. If you say, hey, I guarantee that they've never heard anything like what I'm about to do, then, you know, you got a shot. During the decision as judges, there has been any discrepancies or any situations where there has been a hard time or a challenging time trying to decide about a winner <laughs> because maybe there were too many that were that good. It's just a love fest. We, we all love the same thing. No, <laughs> I, you know, the truth of the matter is we all have different feelings about things. And, and so oftentimes when we come down to the last handful, there are, you know, maybe three or four different uh, artists amongst the, you know, seven, eight or nine judges, whatever. Uh, and we just have conversations about what it is that strikes us about it. And we go back and listen and watch the video again and come to consensus. Everybody has different feelings about music. Music is not a right or wrong. And so we all just have to think and open our minds and hearts to music that may not be particularly a style of music we love, but to just recognize the talent inside uh, of the music being made. The experience of inviting people to share their music creations is also an educational experience. How do you think as professionals in the music industry and the music broadcasting, this has provided you growth, learning experiences, and maybe significant moments through this experience doing the Tiny Desk for the past eight years. What we've learned through these submissions is that we're always discovering new talent, new walks of life through music. Um, so for me, the educational part of this is is just that. Like I, I'm, I'm always walking away from this contest, like going back to a video that may not have won, but as someone that I'm following now on Instagram, and as someone as a career I'm following, and hope that they enter again. So I've I've learned I've learned a lot about music. I learned a lot about different styles and sounds right through this contest. Well, I think this is the perfect time to invite uh, people to join and submit. And one more time, the invitation from you, Bobby and Bob, to get people to submit their music Tiny Desk Contest uh, submissions. Yeah. Get your bands together, get, gather your friends and film the best song you can film and get it to us by the 13th. You can uh, also any other other rules, any other uh, questions you may have. We can answer them right at npr.org slash tiny desk contest. Well, Bob Boylan and Bobby Carter, thank you so much for continuing creating this space and this opportunity for emerging artists and musicians to be heard and discovered and also for bringing this one more time for us as audience as well to enjoy of amazing music that is being created in the United States. Thanks so much, Lohan. Thank you, Johan.